Yeah, you were right. As soon as you said that about like being noodly, I was like, oh, yeah, I totally am being a noodle. <laughs> it's making it tough. Okay, we're going to get into reverse throw. Are you done this? Mm -hmm. Okay, so feet out. Okay, you're going to bring your hands back. Now you like a tabletop, you sit flooring this way, okay? I'm going to receive the weight and then push off, and then you hook your feet carefully. There it is, right? So you can sit up. Okay. From here, watch my feet. They're really towards the knees here. Yeah. If my feet are too in here, there's too much space, so you won't have a nice lock here. Okay. This one, Kirsten, it's hard for you to fall back, right? Try falling back. You have this hook in, right? But you could fall forward more easily, couldn't you? Yeah. There's less of a hook here. So, um, if you are falling forward this way, there's very little that your base can do. So we're, let's talk about buying. The things that keep you nice and comfortable and safe now are also the same things that can really hurt you. The moment I'm falling, what do you do? Unhook right away. Really key. So that is, is such a high distance. If you're uncomfortable falling out of that right now, try it on a belly base first. Get low, get really comfortable falling out of throne, right? Well, practice regular throne, which you learn more, right? Mm -hmm. To know how to, when you're braced, if there's a fall, drop those feet. Unlock those feet right away. Very low, you're some, in some positions, your base can do so little because their limbs are over here. You, they, there's nothing, they don't have extra limbs to catch you down that way, okay? So that would be awesome. Let's come back into reverse throw. We're going to do a position called waterfall, okay? So turn around. <laughs> feet, watch the feet. I don't start here, but I start yeah. lower on the legs. I, I left for a second, and I have an idea of something that maybe, maybe if we have time, we could Okay, hands. Up. Okay, wrap. Watch this. You, you can fall back this way, right? So my wrists are always above my shoulders there. Find that 90, lock. Now keep this lock nice and tight. Okay, now sink into it, Kirsten. Really, there we go. Now I want you to keep your core tight and then fall backwards into me. Core tight, 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 right? The tighter and slower you come down, the easier it is for her to base. Otherwise, her legs will go over this way, okay? So nice and slow. And once you're here, you unwrap. To push off and then walk up to straddle back. Your legs come over, swing them all the way over to straddle, and then we're here. Okay. This is point B. I want you to get here. Okay. This is the beginning of a, uh, of a washing machine called Monkey Pro. So I want you to learn how to do that first part first. Okay. The key thing is coming down nice, tight core, go really slow. Hands are up here, never beyond here. Keep them right stacked. If there is a fall there, you're, same thing, you bend your knee, hands up, this way. Okay. Let's do reverse bird one more time before we do it. Let's fly you, Sam. Okay. Um, have you base this too, Kirsten? Go ahead and base again. Okay. Feet not here, lower, okay? You need to really keep it low on the knee. Hands, receive her weight, push up, hands here, okay? She could fall forward, so if she does, Sam is going to unhook her feet and bring it down. That's really key. If you're not comfortable flying that yet, let's learn how to fly regular throne and really get a good idea of falling out of this position. It's just so dangerous falling forward. Okay? Mm -hmm. From here, she's going to keep it nice and tight and fall back. Your hands are up. She's going to do it as slow as possible. It's going to put a lot of pressure on your shins there. So keep your hands up there and catch her. As soon as she gets, she can unhook the feet. And then you can start walking it. Watch this. When I take this foot off, all the weight goes into the left hand right now, right? Mm -hmm. So just use your feet. Trace it. You don't have to take it all the way off. Push more in this hand. Walk it up. Backward. Now when you take this foot off, it's going to put more weight. All the weight's on your foot now, right? Mm -hmm. Remember the whole time when you're back fly, you could fall. If you this a fall, she's going to turn. Turn in and catch. Okay, one more time. Uh, and are you going to transition her into uh, straddle back? Yeah. Up. <laughs> right, she's fall forward, right? Mm -hmm. I wanna, that's what I'd like to start facing Or if, if this is hard, you can also, let's go ahead and have the fall back into back fly. Like here. Have her, uh, go ahead and have her sit down onto my shins. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. Let's sit down, lean back. Let's do hammock. Have you done this one? Yeah. This, this is Way amount, I think. So do hammock because the feet are already here. Have it hooked. Now she'll hook the feet into the shins. <laughs> there it is. So maybe do this and then slowly push her up. There. To this position. 
Is that okay? Yeah, I feel like I was crush crushing your feet, but... That's good. That's a nice massage. So that's another way to get into that if, if the reverse thing is a little hard for you to mount. Okay, we'll fall back. Hands are up. Nice core. When she comes back down this way, it's going to put a lot of pressure on your shins. Mm -hmm. So you can take that weight off by putting the hands there, okay, once you catch it. And when she leans back all the way to come over this way, so be really mindful to use your feet to actively bring, bring your uh, legs 90 this way, okay? And then from there you'll walk foot off, put your back fur up, and then you can pivot over to straddle. On that 90. Anytime there's a fall, there's a fall, bend the knees, put the hands up. Try to get your flyer, their torso above their head. I'm sorry, their torso and head above their feet. <laughs>